Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here in the permadeath playthrough to the center of the galaxy. So we're going to continue on with our mission. Let's go ahead and check out the log real quick and see where we're at. Now, of course, like I said before, we are going to expand our base because in order to get to the center of the galaxy, we have a lot to do. So we're going to go ahead and do the base stuff later on, as well as do the uh, do our uh, planet in distress quest line to get our settlement. Uh, so we're going to cover that in this series as well. And we'll do piece by piece. We'll do like a piece of the of the settlement. We'll get things going. And once we get into those long time frames where it's going to be like an hour or two, we'll come back to these. And then, you know, we'll, we'll do like do a planet distress. We'll get one of those going and then we'll jump to another quest line real quick and continue on the run. And then the next episode, we'll come back to it again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So right now we are in the 1616 portal network null knows more about the situation than they're letting on they believe the atlas is in trouble and that it is dying so we kind of learned all that from the last time in our in our last episode of course but there's nothing for it it's going to have to find a portal and face the atlas once more so here we go on our merry little way let's go ahead and jump on our ship and head over there so m me and not artemis but um apollo are wanting to meet together did I? Okay, it says to inform not of Noel's plans. So let's go ahead and head up there real quick. Just go to the uh, anomaly. And I just pulled it into the middle of an asteroid field. Of course I did. Let's just go through the rocks. And get a little tritium while we're at it, right? I wonder, how much tritium did we get? Just 10? That's hilarious. So, but anyway, looks like we got quite a bit of stuff in here. We don't really need that. We could probably just get rid of that. But, you know, when we get our base set up and we start dropping in uh, cargo pods and everything like that, we can get things done. We do need to expand this ship. It needs help. We don't have a lot of room. So, let's move on. You notice there is an anomaly mission for the weekend in here. I am not going to do the anomaly mission. That was fun, wasn't it? There we go. All right, here we go. Missing entity is comfortable with danger. Nada is not. Nada chooses their own reality, makes this safe. Our friends are safe. But every entity is a pattern. Follow your pattern. Following miss missing entity's pattern. Follow Nada's pattern. So it goes. Ask about the Atlas. Atlas falsity is real. Falsity is in our eyes. Falsity is in our eyes. Let me get that right. Atlas is not deity. Atlas is something else. But Atlas cannot choose how we see its pattern. Nada could know more, but Nada chooses not to know more. Missing entity believes they know all. Perhaps they do. So, just like Null said, Nada chooses to stick his head in the stand and not really credit anything at all. Not learn anything. I have always wanted to know more, to discover his joy, but now I wonder. Perhaps some things I should not discover. Nada may be right. We're going to ask about those anomalies. We are all anomalies here. We should not exist, and yet we do, Joy. But something is different. Were we always this many? No, I cannot remember. Is more anomalies good? More friends good? More to discover good? More thinking good? It seems so, but, I still, but still I wonder. Okay. So off we go get to the atlas and find out what's going on with this it's going to be an interesting part of the story here and then we're going to start getting more and more glyphs and before you know it we'll be completing the artemis storyline in its entirety and then we can move on and we'll be in a different galaxy at that point all right here we go so there's the spot we need to go Same distress signal that Apollo picked up on. So let's see what we find out. Very interesting stuff going on here. It's an approximate location. Let's do a little quick scan. It's a distress signal, so I expect it to be maybe a crashed ship. So perhaps we should just take a look this way.
I don't really see anything, do you? I don't see anything just yet. Look at our radar. Watch around. I'm not seeing even a ship here. Uh, says it's that way. We must be like right above where it thinks we should be landing. Let's just go a little further this way. And take another look. That looks like something. What's that? That just looks like crumbled stuff. Let's go ahead and land and we'll take a look around. That'll probably be easier at this point. So that way. No, that way. So that way, give or take. 626 blocks. We can pull our ship in when we need to. Let's get up to the top of this hill over here, and then we'll take another look. So that way, generally. Give or take. Generally this way, it looks like. Probably that way, I'm thinking. Go to that hill. We are definitely getting closer. That hill. Best thing you can do is the only way you can do it, right? There it is. So there was a ship. Ooh, that's an interesting looking ship, don't you think? Ooh, Explorer class. Uh, I'm going to take a close look at this because I actually kind of like this ship. Sweet. Let's pull our ship in real quick. There we go. Won't tell us what it is until we claim it. So let's go ahead and get the story going for it real quick here. I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of the distress beacon. It does not sound like anything I've ever encountered. There is no sign of Apollo. I have given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. Best for everyone. Very interesting. So apparently Apollo wiped the Atlas at one point. The audio clicks. Time passes. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this. But you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. The sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red, a headache splitting through my, through my mind. The screen, it shows the number for a moment. It shows 16. Try to access the data. The audio clicks, time passes, and then... I see it now with every waking breath. I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. Nice. So we're going to claim the ship real quick, because I want it. B-Class, too, as well. We don't really have any upgrades in it, but I think I want this ship. And I may even keep it. I don't know. We're going to claim it. But we're going to go back to our original ship. That is really cool, the way it does that. All right. Before we go, let's grab some stuff. First things first, let's grab this uh, technology. Salvage data. It's always good to grab it. Looks like we got four of it out of that one. Okay. Damage machinery. See what it gives me. All right. More nanites. That's all right. I could always use more. Nothing found. Grab things out of these, and we're all set. All right, some condensed carbon, a geck relic. All right, what's my inventory look like? Let's take a peek here. We might want to start heading, hanging on to these because they will come in handy sooner or later, so I may start doing that. Uh, looks like my inventory is pretty well organized. Not sure why I still have all these meaty chunks in here. <laughs> to say the least, right? Now, have we discovered all the animals on this planet, by the way? And we got glitches. You know, I do want to collect those at some point. Yeah. Yeah, we did discover them all here because they're special. There's only one. There we go. I'll just grab, I'll just grab one. For the 
posterity of it all. Not you. I really like this ship. I like the way it looks. Uh, I mean, I, I don't mind selling it, but I like the way it looks. It doesn't have the big back end or anything like that either, so it would be good for exploring. All right. Anyway, here we go. Ley line detected. Let's head over there. See where this takes us. I didn't think I was that close, but that's okay. How far away are you? An hour. Okay. Well, that's the end of this episode, folks. I'm kidding, of course. Let's get up here and take the long way. Oh, make sure we're locked in on the right one. Hold on. Not you. Let's just make sure. Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. Didn't want it locking in on the yellow anomaly. Wow, literally the complete opposite end of the planet here. That's wild. Opposite end? That didn't make any sense. You're right. Opposite side of the globe. It's not an approximate, is it? It is. No. Let me take a quick peek. Because we're looking for a portal. I don't see one. Well, what's that? There she is. Aha. Okay, so here we go again. This one's going to pop us out in the space, so it's a great time to get some screenshots. So you probably saw one at the start of the, uh, like the thumbnail for the episode should show the screenshot of me. So let's make sure we look good. I think we look good. Don't you think we look good? Yeah, I think we look good. All right. Got my hair done. We're all set. All right, do we have enough in our inventory to charge this up? Let's use the sodium nitrite first. And make sure we have enough of that. Nope, we don't. So now we're on to sodium. I'm going to use carbon, condensed carbon there. We're going to use regular. All right, so we had enough. Do we have enough dihydrogen? Copper and cadmium. We don't have enough cadmium to get by, so we're going to have to go with, car with copper. Condensed dihydrogen. We may have to go out and get some more. So far, so good. Oh, we might have enough. I'll be a monkey's uncle. There we go. Good deal. Be the last time we have to do that, I think. Approach the portal, think my travels so far, the decisions that I have made in my journey. I found two travelers, one who wanted to meet others of their kind, and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, though we could not find each other. And Artemis, I allowed Artemis to die rather than place their soul within a simulation. I would not wish such a fate on any being. I do not know if I was, if it, if I was right to do what I did. I do know what I have become as a result of my actions. Oh, see, I, I still said it wrong. I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The atlas awaits me, should I choose to step through. Let's input the glyphs. I step forward, the gateway hums. I'm a traveler and a discoverer of worlds. Of course I'm going to go through. Hmm, we're not getting any game audio. Hang on just a second here. There we go. And we're back to normal. Okay, sorry about that. It's a pain in the neck. I'm watching one of these, I'm watching 15 minutes of video with no audio from the game itself except for me blabbing in a microphone. So we're gonna get ready for our screenshots. I think I have it set up on a hotkey. There we go. Let's take a peek, shall we? What a view. Look at that. So we're going to come up a little bit. Is 
That doesn't get any better than that. Look at it. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, I'm going to get some shots here, folks. I like that best. But it's great to have the atlas right behind you like that. There we go. What do you think? I'll get one more shot of it. All right, here we go. You see it's dropping. Okay, we don't have to anymore. You notice our ship is missing again. And you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to get some words. We got the. And not all of these are going to get us what we need here. There we go. That one in there. Nope, just the light. We're going to get all these, because this is what we do. And I think you get a couple of more at some point. Later on, as we visit, visit Atlas portals, we do the Atlas seed missions and stuff like that, you'll get a lot more words. We'll get one from up there in a moment. Doesn't look like there's any over there. Let's get this one. Nothing over there. Looks like the only other one we're going to get is going to be up on top. Yeah, okay. So those didn't yield us anything, but there is one up here. Let's go ahead and grab the one over here. It should give us a word. Okay, infinite. Okay. So just remember, there's those two pylons up here. Each of them gives you a warp cell, so grab them when you can. And if you want to get a screenshot in here, this is always a great place to get one. Um, just turn around, do a quick focus in the other direction. Do your screenshot. That was pretty cool. That is a really, really cool. I don't even know what to make of that. I'm going to get a screenshot of that. I don't know if it's going to do anything for me, but... But there it is. That's a nice one. Okay. I love taking screenshots. One of these days I'll start my Instagram account uh, for my game and start posting more pictures. Hello, world. It is the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Uh, let's see. Demand an audience or say hello? Let's demand an audience. We're upset. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior. That you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wished to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. So should we initiate personality interface or wipe the system? Now again, as I said before, I always initiate the personality interface. I would never wiped the system. So I'm going to try that again. Warning, system wipe will result in universal death. Yes. Reality fades, everything does, something is wrong, something is different. I'm just going to submit. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant, all of those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Submit. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know, 
and no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. Number three, every time I will select that. The universe is a simulation. Nothing is real. I. I feel. What? Do I feel anger, sadness, defiance? Kind of anger, but I think defiance is a better word. I think of how the Korvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to be good, become good. I think of Nada's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel... I feel I'm not myself. I cannot accept this fate. I will not. This, all of this, it was supposed to be my birthright. My journey across the stars, my travels, my conquest of all I could see. No. I am real. I know I am. Even if everything I see is false. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler, did my words, worlds please you? Say they did. What do you think you are? I am a traveler. You are an explorer of all I have created. Do you believe you are real? I'm going to say yes. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? How are you capable of choice? I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? No, I don't want to die. The Gek were traitors defined by greed. The Viking were warriors defined by anger. The Korvax were scientists defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to... I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you... What you all would become. Judgment. You allowed iteration... Artemis, to complete their death process, preferring to wipe them from existence than to force them into a simulation. Iteration Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are merciful. You interfere. You have the potential for good and evil. Because of you, both live. Accept. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, Traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Sixteen. Sixteen. I. It. Catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert, 16, 16. What am I? What I am? What am I seeing? 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in... It... What is this place? Is it real? 16. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators 1 through 9845 failing. Data, data upload in... It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me, afraid. Comfort, the Atlas. Yes, you are empathetic. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools, and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? Seconds? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if... if... I'm not going to rage or cry out. I'm going to do nothing. What? What is happening to me? And... Watch it. Boom. We're gone. So we are, we have started the beginning of the end. Ragnarok. Game audio might be just a little bit higher than normal, but that's okay. At least you have audio now, right? Oh my, what is this place? Oh, I gotta take a look. This is beautiful. Humid, fair, frequent fauna. High security. Oh, it is, huh? It's a shame it's a high sentinel. It's, a, it's an extreme sentinel planet. 
big guys. Whew, they are big. Look at the size of that guy, yeah? I'm going to get them while I can. I'm assuming one more. Before someone shows up, let's take a look. I'm real curious here. Ground, good. Ship is there. And do we have anything else showing up? We do have one more creature, right? There. That's all five. Awesome. Extra 1,250 nanites, I'll take it. Where's the ships? Come on, you heard something fly over too, I'm sure. Alright, let's get going. We're gonna have sentinels attacking us soon. We're gonna need more of this, you know that. I'll take it while I can. Wow, these guys are big, look at them. Good gravy. Take a little oxygen while I'm at it. Oh, you see an attacker? No? Good. The pretty planet. I mean, look at that sky. The sky's gorgeous. I'm loving this. And here we are. And do our due diligence, right? Looks like the beginning. I just, I'm not even going to read any of that. You all know what it says. I'm going to go ahead and broadcast this time. As usual. Alright. It says Extreme Sentinel Planet, but... So far we haven't seen any, so we'll see how it goes. I'll take whatever I can get right now. Okay. Well, let's see here. Because we did uh, have to use up a lot of stuff when we were in that portal. Okay, good deal. Alright, on to the ship. Let's see what kind of condition she's in. And it should jump in. This is part of the storyline. I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Resist. I try to resist, but the bile rises within. As I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic response detected. Countermeasure deployed. Purge neutralized. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Remain silent. I don't say anything, but to have even thought the thought, it gives it makes me smile. <laughs> I was born with the capacity to do many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. Hmm. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have day hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take light. Okay. What kind of sh condition is the ship in? Looks like our anti-gravity well is dead. Let's go ahead and put in two radiant shards. We need more radiant shards. We're running low. And luminance engine is running low as well. Let's drop that in there. Okay, good. FTL. We only have two? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. Alright, good deal. Okay, that should be good. Back to here. I'm just going to go ahead and put one in. There, that'll get me up to snuff. Alright, so everything is fully ready to go here. Um, we are going to definitely need more uh, radiant shards as we go along. Um, 
or else we're going to have trouble. So we're going to have to find ourselves a dissident world in one of our jumps. And we'll have to just completely bypass everything that we need to do to get there. Uh, oh, I forgot that. I'm glad it showed me that. You can always use them. Get them while you can. Like I said, very pretty world. No idea where we are. What's the next step in our plan? I think we're in the purge, if I'm not mistaken. We're, in, we're near the next. we got to find a uh, terminus. So we'll do a scan. There we go. Looks like right over there. Uh, how far out are we? Oh, 30 seconds. Nah, there's no reason to go into space. Ah, what do you know? Yeah, once we finish this main storyline, before we even start the Atlas, we're going to do some other things, too. In this episode, we're going to get pretty far. Next episode should be a completion of the main storyline, I believe. We'll see what happens here. Whoop, slow down. Ooh, a drop pod. How interesting. Let's go ahead and drop here. We'll take advantage of that. We got a communication tower somewhere nearby here. Grab some things. I know, we're about to be attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they won't be able to find me now. This is funny, but I'm inside now, so they can't see me. What? What do you mean I can't build it? Oh, ha 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 ha. I forgot in my last episode that I didn't show you this. I got myself a personal refiner. Um, it was uh, part of the things I could get, so it was pretty cool. So let me go ahead and drop you guys in here. Let's put one more in. There we go. You notice they're just ignoring me standing inside this this uh, unit. Okay, so we need to create a, one of these and one of these. Let's go ahead and open them up. There we go. 20 it is. Okay. So we should be able to upgrade now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do think that one. I do want to open this up more. We only got one more extra space up here. Uh, where to go? Let's just go up here. Let's go up here and even it out. It's just annoying me. I don't think we can use this again. We can't. We have to use one in a, in a, in a station there. All right. Where is my... Okay, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Should be complete now. Okay, so that direction. Okay, let's go. Right there. There we go. Good news is, we can pull our ship in over here. Ah, crap. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. Let's go... You know what? There. I'm going to collect things. They're probably going to shoot at me soon. Ah, there we go. Not sure if we needed that.
All right, here we go. This way. Okay. I think we escaped them. Warning, network failure. Network failure. Uh, what can I do? I must tell... Okay, the terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning of total failure. But I must do what I can. I must tell the others what I have learned. I can attempt the broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I've learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of the galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. Okay, so broadcasting, network compromise, no response detected. It doesn't necessarily that any that we didn't do anything, that nobody heard us, but there we are. And if you're wondering, we are now in, in the purge. This is where we get the rest of our glyphs at this point. And to find that out, let me just grab something here. Collected knowledge, I think, is where we find this. There we go. So you see, we already have two glyphs. We need... A total of 16, so we need 14 more glyphs. That means 14 jumps with our hyperdrive. And since we need to find some more of those things, we need to find ourselves a... Oh, let's go there. We have to fight them. We don't have a choice. Get up there. Get up there. How far do we have to go? Not sure if we can take another battle. we're going to make it this time. All right, we did it. All right, we escaped the battle. I didn't think they'd be able to scan me once I was in my ship, but they, apparently they did. Boy, that was an annoying planet, wasn't it? Hey, we got a traveler up there. We can get ourselves a glyph real quick now. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, right? Let's go ahead and sell some stuff and get ourselves squared away. We'll end this episode on a high note, huh? First things first. We don't have any ship upgrades that I'm aware of, so can't do anything about that. Let's go ahead and get our exosuit real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do it here. But you know what? We have some other upgrades. Right? Oh, you know what? No, we have the stupid pods that we can find. Never mind. Anything we can get out of here that we can use? I don't think so. We have anything to sell? No. 5,000 nanites, though. Uh, what do they got? Radiation, movement, life support. Radiation, movement, and life support. What do we have in here? We have radiation. 
We've got plenty of movement, and th that's doing pretty good. I'm not going to worry about that. Life support is always a nice thing to have, so I might go ahead and grab that. So let's do that. That'll fill up one of our extra spots. There we go. Let's put that in. All right, and that should give us, hopefully, some more core health. No. Well, you know what gives us core health? It's the shields, like this, 41%. That's what we need to look for. More shields. But we'll worry about that later. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. Ship? Probably a good idea. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, hyperdrive module. Hmm. That could come in really handy right about now. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, do we have any room for it? Well, these are hyperdrives. Over here. Uh, we need room. Let's pull you out and go over here, put you in. So now we have to get rid of something. So this has got 256 range, 217 and 174. So let's get rid of you. There we go. What's our range? 1350 it says? 1355. Wow. That's pretty interesting. Okay, we'll leave it in that configuration for now. Okay, good deal. We didn't have any upgrades for you, but you're doing pretty good. You're supercharged already, and you're doing some decent damage. So I'm going to be happy with that. Thank you very much. We don't have a warp hypercore yet. I wonder if we have enough to purchase it. I think I might do that. We're going to go hit the anomaly and see if we can get some warp hypercores. Because, uh, or a dissonant planet at this point. That would work too. All right. Anything for our multi-tool? Let's take a look at it. It's a B-class. And we take a look. Let's see what we got. Look at that thing. That's the tiniest multi-tool I've seen in a long time. And it's an A-class, too. Hmm. Kind of cute. Not interested, though. Yep, weak-minded, whatever. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, neutron cannon... That's not bad. I know the Neutron Cannon is very, very handy. It's Scatter Blaster. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. There's no reason to do that. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. It's not like we need the money, but we do need to purge our inventory just a little bit. Alright, what do we got? Um, Let's see. We're going to hang on to it for now. I have some ideas of what I want to do with it later on. we got those two charts, and we're going to use those later on. Uh, center belt. Oh, I forgot we had the dihydrogen jellies. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to our salvage data. I don't know if there's much in here we want to sell. That's the thing. We've got plenty of money right now. Let's get rid of the Viking tablet. There's no reason to hang on to it. We've got a lot of salvage data. That's really, really good. I'm very happy for that. Microprocessor, quad servo, good. Divergence cube, we don't need either. We'll hang on to the magnetic resonator, because there's going to be stuff we're going to build sooner or later. Log encryption key, we'll go ahead and get rid of. Viking effigies, I guess we'll hang on to them for now. You know what? No. I'm getting rid of them. We're going to keep the high line brains. They're handy. Okay, I think that should do it for now. Anything we can buy. Hmm. How much phosphorus do we have? 372, we got plenty. So we don't really need more. Wiring looms would come in handy right about now. Let's check our starship inventory. Do we have any in here? We do not. Oh yeah, we do. We have 11. Alright, let's buy a few more. There, that should do. Ship, starship, good. Okay, and that's all they've got in their inventory. All right, good. All right, let's get going. We'll find the Traveler. We'll find his Glyph. We'll get some more stuff. And I think we're at an end of our, of our uh, episode here. So let me go ahead and talk to him. Okay, well, we should speak. All right, proof here. Look at this. I'm not going to go through this real quick. It's going to be the same kind of stuff. Let's look at the object. 
All right, very good. Excellent. Now we talk to him one more time. Interesting face. Uh, where they came from. All right, so now we got a spot we can go to. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit that on the next episode. I think we're pretty much done with this section, and we need to go find a dissident system and go ahead and get ourselves uh, some more of those uh, radiant shards, as you know. So we're going to go ahead and call it quits here for just now. You notice that alert not out of the fate of the atlas. We'll hit the anomaly next. We'll go ahead and pick up that uh, grave glyph, if you will, and then we're going to go on to our next system. All right, so we'll see you guys in the next episode. Again, thank you for watching, and take care.